look at the extreme ribs, it's always been, uh, been the idea to build everything in carbon fiber. The boat we have right behind us is a CP30, it's a carbon patrol boat, and it's completely built out of carbon fiber, total boat weight for a military version with all the equipment on it, less than 1400 kilos. And that is pretty extraordinary compared to other competitors in the market. Well, obviously this is the first one we've ever built, but if, if you look at the other boats we've been building, the lighter, the better the performance is. And obviously all the military boats have always been pretty heavy, and we have said, okay, let's make sure we've got a boat that is capable of doing 50 knots plus, fully loaded, uh, with all the equipment we want to have on board, and that's the target where we're going for. If we look at the fuel consumption, um, this boat would be doing in light ship around 18 litres an hour at 30 knots of speed. And uh, that gives you a range of around 300 nautical miles compared to other boats. You know, we'll be carrying probably, uh, we're carrying around 160 litres on board and other people would probably do triple or double that, double or triple that. Well, if we look at the, the specific thing about carbon fibre is that the actual fatigue of the product is so much less. We don't have fatigue with carbon fibre compared to GIP, compared to fibreglass. And the main difference there is that the lifespan of the boat is just as long as you don't go over the breaking strength of the carbon fibre, as long as you want. The boat is actually going to be, well, guaranteed up to 10 years uh, if you don't do anything above the calculated strength. Well, if we look at the, the, weight, uh, the weight comparisons between our competitors, we are half of their weight. And half of their weight in military standard means that we can, can take another you know, half of the weight in payload. Or we can take in ammunition, we can take extra people, carry extra fuel. All those possibilities are there. This is a concept. This is an 8.3 meter boat, but it could actually be a 40 foot boat which we have on the drawing board as well, and which is actually getting launched uh, in June this year. If we look at all the companies involved in this project, it's always been um, from our aim to get the best in the field. Um, we started with the best manufacturer of the boat, which is Marstrom Composites. They build an autoclave. That means that all the carbon fiber is um, built under pressure and cured in an oven. Oven and under pressure gives you the best laminate schedule. Um, we've looked for Cosworth who's doing all the cabling and all the wiring, all the screens that are coming from Cosworth. They are famous for the Formula One engines. Um, if we look at um, the other partners, is Fleur, which is um, making sure that we have our night vision. Um, we also have Seacross who does all the navigation part of it. Um, and basically all those people together are the best in the field. And the most important thing then, you come to ergonomics. And if we look at the guys who've been dealing with the ergonomics, been Trevor Dobbins, he's the guy who wrote the design guideline for basically all the high-speed crafts. And, you know, it's great to have a guy on board like that who actually can tell you what is needed on the boat instead of finding it out yourself. So we really are making a head start with a complete new product. And that means that this product at the moment we believe is one of the best in the, um, best in the market that you can find.